athletic. I mean, you know how big they are on paper. They're legit. I mean, they're big, you know. Good football team all the way around. Assume they do the same things with the backup running back that they did with. Yeah, they don't change. They don't change. And he's a good player too. I mean, he was getting work anyway. I mean, they just the two of them were getting the work, and now it's obviously you know twenty five, and they got a couple other backup guys. But he'll he'll get the work most of it. He's a good player. He's quick, jump sideways, very great vision. He's a good player. When you look at the the yardage totals you guys gave up on the ground last week, is I mean. Does that motivate you guys? Oh, uh, we, played, we played good. I mean, we gave up one run. And, uh, I mean, I'm not, we played good. And we <laughs> let that one pop at the end, which was unfortunate. We fit that thing out all day long. I mean, that's what they wasn't like they ran a new play. And Bonner ran up Jack's butt. And, and we, you know, you, it takes everybody to stop what they do. You notice how they lined up, right? So, we fit that out all day. We played well. You know, I don't see any issues now. We let one pop at the end, but, you know, we played well enough to win. How much more fit is Maddie at this point right now compared to last year? He's better. I mean, last year he's he had better. an ankle and he could never really Well, he hadn't got hurt this year, thank yeah, the Lord, exactly. you know. Yeah, he so hadn't got hurt, but he's, he's playing well. He played well up there the other day. Yeah. He played well up there the other day. BC's good. They got a good offensive line. If they can get the thing in the fourth quarter, man, they, you know, that's what they wanted to do. You know, they're physical. You never got them out of their element, you know. You got to get them where they got to spread it out. And, they, you know, they was all, the game was always tight. So you never could get them out of their element. And, you know, they're, they had eight offensive linemen in the game at one time. You know, eight offensive linemen and tight ends. Mm-hmm. I mean, not many teams can do that. So, you're, you know, they were able to stay within, you know, they're in their program. You know, they stayed it right in there. I think Daddy only had a hand. Yeah, that was too bad. I mean, he should have played more. He had – yeah, you know, we had him going in a certain personnel group, and they didn't run it. You know, they got out of it, and um, they ran two, I think, two plays of it, and he played, you know, I don't remember if it was seven or nine plays. Should have played more. Looking at the film, you know, he should have played more. He was being daddy. You know, he was in there, made a tackle for a loss, first play he was in the game, crushed 44, and then made a play over on the boundary. I mean, he should have played more. That was my fault. Is there anything you changed this week to get him in? Yeah, he's going to play more. more. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to play more. He's going to play more, yeah. you got a couple uh, Florida kids, including him. Do you – like? do they get more hyped up for that? Do you have to come? Uh, I think they'll be happy to play in front of their family. You know, they'll be happy to play in front of their family. But the big thing is we beat Miami. If we were 8-1 and or we're 6-3, and we still got to beat Miami. We're playing for a chance to go, you know, to Charlotte and play in an ACC championship. So everybody should be excited about that. You know, we all are very excited about the opportunity, although we've dropped two football games. It doesn't – ultimately, we still have to beat Miami, whether we, whatever the case may be. So hopefully we can, we can do that. That's the goal.